Hey guys, Wix100 here, back with another C Sharp tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a file downloader. So, as always, create a new project. Wow, computer, you really want to be slow like that. Uh, not that framework, Windows Forms application. And file downloader. As always, I'm going to put this in my into a GitHub repository and the link will be down below. So if you want to see the code directly or download the project yourself, go check that out. Almost all of my C sharp tutorials are available on GitHub. Yeah, apparently I have a Visual Studio update available. I will do that later. If it will let me. There we go. Okay. So, things you want in the form are text boxes. Not test boxes. Text boxes. Uh, there we go. So there's the first one. Wow, I don't know what's wrong with my computer today. It's not liking me. Um, you want some labels. You want a button. Actually, you want two buttons, um, and you want a progress bar. So the progress bar will go at the bottom, and let's anchor that to the bottom and call it um, download progress bar. We want two text boxes, two labels, and two buttons. So put this label here. And we don't need to name the label because we're not going to use it in the code, but we're going to say um, file download. Uh, URL and then move this text box over and drag it to the side and dock the text box top left right and then call it URL text box the, the next one will be button here text box here actually I'm gonna make the button a bit bigger because text doesn't fit in all the way button will be browse and call it browse button text box will be file text box And the label will say file save location. And drag it over here. And drag the, and stretch this here. And we want this to be anchored top left right. And we want the button to be anchored top right. And then here we'll put, let's make that 50 or 25. This button will say save. And guess what? As you can guess, we're going to name it save button. Oh, I named it button button and then let's move this up and I guess we actually technically didn't have to anchor anything because I am going to change the form border style to fixed and I'm gonna say download file for the um, form 
and so let's add some code so let's do browse button dot click and do save file dialog hey IntelliSense why aren't you appearing fine I'll do it myself SFD equals new save file dialog and then say what do we call it? File location. No, what do we call the text box? Oh, just file text box. File text box dot text equals SFD dot file name. And so what that says is when we click this button, a dialog will pop up that is the normal save file dialog you know like when you download something from the internet and it will you select where you want the file to be you click OK and that value will appear in this text box so next thing we want is to is save button dot click and do web client client equals new web client And then do client dot download file completed plus equals new async uh, completed event handler and say completed. It will give you an error for now. I will remedy that in a moment. Client dot uh, download progress changed plus equals new async is it async? yeah async why is it not Here we go. Progress changed of event handler. I wrote that down wrong in my notes and say progress changed, not changes changed, and then do client dot download file async and do new URI. And what we want in the URI is the What do we call the text box? I don't remember why I named my things for some reason. URL text box. URL text box dot text. And for the second argument, we want file text box dot text. And so what this is saying is this web client will download a file from this location to this location. Now, what is this part and what are these errors? Well, let's generate new method and let's no, not right click um, and generate this method. And so, just like how this is the click method for the save button, this is the progress changed method for the client for the web client called client and this is the completed method for this client now what error are you throwing cannot implicitly convert progress change download Oh, 
There we go. This is why I need to say download progress. Okay. So, in progress changed, we want to say progress bar not progress bar we want to say whatever we name the progress bar download progress bar dot value equals e dot progress percentage and is this it doesn't say oh it's an integer so it's probably 1 to 100 I wanted to make sure that it was 1 to 100 not 0 0.01 to 1.00 because if it was then it really wouldn't work out with the progress bar very well we would have to multiply so then for completed we're gonna say message box dot show file download complete and save so what this is saying is as the file is downloading it's going to be updating the progress bar with the percentage of the file downloaded and what this is saying is when it's done it's gonna pop up a little message saying hey we're done oh and also I should actually no that's not necessary because it will reset later okay so let's find a file to download so I'm going to open up Ubuntu or I'm going to Google Ubuntu because I know from experience that that's a large file to download so I can so you can actually see the progress uh, let's do that and I know it's gonna pop up immediately but I don't want it to so let's exit that copy link and just to make sure it's the right link yes it is so notice how it says .iso at the end that's a file that the browser cannot read so by um, so automatically it's going to give you the file by downloading so let's start this up and you can do that with almost any file by the way if you didn't know you can just right click and say copy link and then paste it somewhere to make sure that it is actually the download link and not some redirection URL because if it is then when we try to download it it would actually download the web page that's redirecting not the file itself so, so now that this is loaded paste that in that's the file that we want to download from and browse and just find some random location to put it in um, something that I did not put in this is it does not automatically check that you did the same file type so technically I could save this as a what is taking you so long I could technically save this as a dot PNG so since that's not popping up C colon backslash um, Ubuntu dot ISO let's just say there and I could save it as a PNG and it would completely do that. Now, obviously, it would be a gibberish PNG, but save. File download complete. That is not at all correct. That should not take that long. That should not be that short. What the heck is happening? C colon backslash. there is no Ubuntu here so why did you say file complete okay so I did get those in the right order 
URL textbox.txt. So let me go there. Start. Oh, wait. First of all, this didn't show up because I need to say sfd dot show dialog. There is that. So that's why the thing didn't pop up. <laughs> and so let's paste that back in. Hit browse. Voila, it appeared. Uh, so let's just save it to my desktop. Ubuntu.iso. There you go. C colon backslash users backslash Wix one backslash desktop backslash Ubunit. Let me fix my spelling mistake. Uh, so and save. And I put breakpoint in here. So let's go through it one by one. It creates the web client. File completed. Progress change. Download file at async. It's looping through that repeatedly. Let's just go to here. Hit continue. Okay, there you go. Now it's downloading. I don't know why it immediately said, hey, download complete. So as you can see, since this is a big file, it's going to take a while. But as we, it, it's not there anymore because we're doing it. As you can see, the file's already here. So we could open this up and it would throw some error because it's not a complete file, which is, I think, why if you ever download a file from Chrome, if you notice, it downloads the file as a .cr download until it's done, then it renames it to whatever the file type it's supposed to be. And that's to prevent you from, that's to prevent the user from thinking, oh, it's done already and open up a file that's not complete and that would throw errors because it's not formatted correctly. So I'm just going to fast forward to when this is done loading. So the file is downloaded and it, you might notice, hey, it didn't pop up a dialog. That's because I still have this breakpoint here. So if I remove this and click continue, there we go. File download completed. So it took a while, but that whole file download, maybe I should have found a slightly smaller file that um, would download at such a speed that you could still see the progress bar move. But that was the only thing I could think of because if I chose like a standard file, it would go whoop and you wouldn't even, you would just see it go poof. it would be done. So I could do this again. I don't want to wait that long again. So um, as you can see, I now have the Ubuntu file, but it's because I don't want it, I'm going to actually delete it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Links are down in the description. As I said, I will. The repository link is down there, so go check that out to interact with the code directly. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. Till next time, bye.